All right, it's about a quarter after five here in the a.m. We just wrapped up our breakfast and we're just about all packed up and ready to hit the road. Today we're going to be taking the Trans-Canada Trail and the, again the Victoria Rail Trail which we took last week. Today we're heading into a little ghost town. So a small town, Ontario ghost town, goes by the name of Furnace Falls. I am super stoked and excited to see what this ghost town holds in store for us today. So stay tuned for this epic adventure. All right, so it's about 6 a.m. We just started pedaling on the bike. It's going to be roughly around 300 kilometers there and back. It's exactly 150K there, 150K back. I put that on screen when it uh, translates to miles. Ooh, it is chilly this morning. It's probably like seven or eight degrees Celsius. The sun hasn't quite come out just yet, but you can probably see that it is on its way out. Hasn't come out entirely just yet, but she's poking her head behind those trees there. So once she comes up, I'm hoping she warms us up. There she is, in all her mighty glory. Let her shine brightly with on us today. This is going to be an epic adventure, folks. So stay tuned throughout the video. Woo! A beautiful little family of Canada geese right here basically at our starting point of today's adventure. Well, they couldn't have asked for a better day, folks. Despite the cooler temperatures, that's because it's first thing here in the morning. It's supposed to reach like 20 degrees Celsius today, I think. Nothing but blue skies and good old sunshine. Hearing all the beautiful morning birds just chirping away. Thing of beauty, folks. She is an absolute thing of beauty. Just me and the open road for now.
What another day on planet Earth, folks. What a beautiful day. Not a single piece of cloud in the entire sky. These are truly the days you live for, right? Aren't I right? These are the type of days to live for, folks. Just beautiful. Now that right there, folks, is a beautiful piece of land. Check it out. That is something else. Wow. Bit of a downhill here. Whoa, they're in a pretty big gear. I didn't realize that. So just up ahead, we're gonna be crossing past regional road number 47 on our way up to Wag Road.
We have now entered Uxbridge, Ontario. And we got a red light. You remember this spot? Right by that cool old painting or sign, whatever it is. All right, so we're going to be making our way towards the trestle. Ooh, that's quite narrow. All right, so for the second time in a week, we are back on the Trans-Canada Trail, folks. We're going to take this all the way to Lindsay. From Lindsay, we got quite ways to go on the Victoria Rail Trail because we're going to a supposed ghost town named Furnace Falls. Here we are on the trestle. All right, so now that we're on the Trans-Canada Trail, I'm gonna have a very quick little snack here we're going to take off the helmet and we are going to throw on the hat because you just don't need a helmet here on the trail. Of course it's optional. Got a fresh new bus cut last night for today's special occasion if you will. We got my point and shoot stills camera. We got my cell phone here tracking our ride for today. I need to grab a quick little snack before we resume the ride, folks. All right, that was a little bit harder than I was expecting to get it out. So we're gonna have some dad's oatmeal cookies before we continue down the Trans-Canada. Maybe we'll kill a couple of these guys here. Mmm. I'm gonna throw a couple of Swedish berries in our pocket. We never do a tour without these suckers. All right. 
let's continue. So we are currently on the Trans Canada Trail. We just got on from the Uxbridge starting section. Oh man, I hope she warms up. It is cold today. Woo! It honestly feels like it's in the single digits right now. Whew. And I got a 300 plus kilometer day, folks. So I hope it warms up. I just got my shorts in this light sweater slash jacket, if you want to call it that. Oh, but it's nice in the sun. That's for sure. It's nice in the sun. Motorcycle. The Trans Canada Trail, folks. She is truly a thing of beauty. Whoop. Ah, so beautiful and so bloody peaceful here on the trail. Huh. What more can you ask for? Let's be real now. It's a magnificent. I really don't like seeing ATVs and dirt bikes though. Seeing their tire treads just ripping apart the trail. 
technically those are not allowed here on the Trans Canada Trail. Any type of off-road vehicle, at least not in the fall, spring and summer months. In the winter time, of course, you're allowed to bring um, you're allowed to bring your snowmobiles on here. But come on, people with dirt bikes and four wheelers, come on, you know, stay off the trail. There's plenty more out there to explore dirt roads. ATV trails, dirt bike trails. You don't have to do that in the Trans Canada, folks. They're just ripping it apart for no reason. That's something I don't like to see. We are making up pretty good ground. We are making good ground, folks. Which is a good thing because we got quite the distance to go today. That's why we got up bright and early. And we got an early start to the day. Early bird gets the worm, am I right? Hopefully the wind dies down a bit later on in the afternoon let's hope it warms up a little bit more but the sun is shining beautifully in the sky big bright blue sky so I am not one to complain
Well, it looks like just up ahead here is the Blackwater Junction. And I am absolutely shocked how quickly we made it here. I could not believe how fast we made it here. My goodness. I guess time flies when you're having fun, eh? Anyhow, we're going to keep right onto the train. Anyways, as I was just saying, approaching here, just before my GoPro battery died, I was saying, I was mentioning just how quickly we made it here to Blackwater. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I really can't believe just how fast we made it here. But you know what they say, time certainly does fly by when you are having fun. So here we are at the Blackwater Junction on the Trans-Canada Trail. We will not be continuing down the Beaver River Wetland Trail, rather the Trans-Canada Trail, which if you're approaching it, the Trans-Canada is on the right, the Beaver River is on the left. So, let's resume the ride. There's that one scorched part of the forest we saw last week here, last weekend when we came through here. Very odd, but that side is completely dead and this side here is just thriving. That is very odd. There has to be an explanation to that though. That's an explanation which I do not have at this point, this point in time. So we're still in the Trans-Canada. Can't forget about this side. We are surrounded by beauty in nature, folks. Just surrounded by it.
Well, it sure is starting to warm up, folks, which I was praying for way, way back there. My feet are starting to warm up. The sun is getting a little bit higher up in the sky and the temperature is slowly climbing and it's slowly rising. So I'm a happy camper. I'm bike packing. Come on. I just hear voices back there. Could have swore I heard one or two people talking. So maybe I did. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I thought I heard voices back there. Wow, what a day, my goodness. I think it's just my hat when I turn my head. It's either my hat or my backpack playing tricks on me. So I don't think there are people back there.
Oh yeah, she's definitely warming up, folks. It's almost high noon. Even another couple of hours and it's lunchtime, so. Good thing we packed quite a bit of food for today on this epic journey. This epic bike packing trip. Single day, obviously. I don't know, can we really even call it bike packing? I am traveling a long distance and I got a lot of gear in my backpack. I'm just gonna call it bike packing, folks. You call it whatever you want. We're going to have a very, very quick little bite to eat here at the pig seed shelter. Maybe we'll kill a couple of oatmeal cookies and we will resume our journey. All right, I don't want to waste too much time here because we've still got quite a bit of miles to tack on. It is only 10.30 in the morning, so like I said, we are making up a ton of ground. That's because this isn't that sort of uh, set the camera up here, drive by, stop, turn around, go and grab it again type of video. This is all being shot directly onto my GoPro. It's much, much faster, it's much easier to do. I hope it looks just as good too, to be honest. So we got three oatmeal cookies left. We're going to kill these and we're going to continue the journey.
One more to go. I think we just crossed Highway 2A, if I am not mistaken, according to the sign back there. And I think there's a guy on a four-wheeler up ahead. Or a dirt bike? Looks like it might be an ATV. We'll see. What a bloody day! What a beautiful bloody day we've got, folks. Just spectacular. Check out that view right over there. Not too bad, eh? All right, so it looks like right here above us, in just a sec, is the Trans-Canada Highway number 7A. So that is the Trans-Canada Highway number 7A, just over hot top of us here. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! So Lindsay is just a few more minutes ahead. Yeah, Angeline Street, click and a half. Man, oh man, did we get to Lindsay fast. Just a couple of minutes up ahead. So many of these people's homes, their backyards literally back right up onto the Trans-Canada Trail here, which is quite unique. So we are definitely in Lindsay, folks. All right, so we're currently in Lindsay right now. I think in a few minutes we're going to hop onto the Victoria Rail Trail. Man, is it windy up here? Wow! It's bloody windy in these parts of Lindsay. No complaints here though. I really am enjoying the ride. Alright, so we have transitioned onto the Victoria Rail Trail. We gotta continue on this trail for about 18 kilometers. And then I'm gonna turn my phone back on and have a look at the GPS to see where we have to turn. Yeah, we took this last week when we went to Fenelon Falls. Today, it's a little bit further. Furnace Falls, Ontario. Keep on pedaling. 1911 that is from 1911 
This is hella smooth, but it will transition into gravel very, very soon. We'll get back onto our good old grab grab, folks. All right, so as we're putting along the Victoria Rail Trail here, this little artifact here just caught my eye right away. So I said to myself, I better get off the bike, get a few photos and get a little short video clip of it. These cool looking rock formations here, just along the trail. I didn't even see these last week when I passed by here. Well, that's pretty neat. Along we go. Little marshy area right here along this little bridge. Hoo hoo, is it windy here? Oh boy. Let's have another look. Cool little area right here. Very, very windy though. So we came from down that way and we're still putting along the Victoria Rail Trail, heading towards Furnace Falls. There's our beautiful bike we're on. Let's get on the bike and let's continue pedaling. Now this is quite the view, eh? Just check that out. Just beautiful. My hat's gonna go flying. It's windy out here, folks. It's a beautiful day, but it is very, very windy. Unfortunately. All right, so this right here, I believe, is Cameron Lake. We just passed through Fenelon Falls way back there. Right now, we're currently on the Victoria Rail Trail. We're about 37 kilometers from our destination. I just shot, thought I'd show you this beautiful lake on this very, very windy day. When you see white caps like that on the waves, you know she's a windy one, bye. Lots of ATVs on this part of the Victoria Rail Trail. I think so far I've seen like seven or eight ATVs. And I just saw one side by side. Going the opposite direction. So be warned if you want to bike tour this trail. There are a lot of motorized vehicles using it too. Us cyclists unfortunately are not the only ones here. It is what it is. It's a rail trail. If there's a will, there's a way, I guess. People will find a way. So we're approaching like 30 kilometers from our destination and I am stoked. 
to see the falls. All right, so folks, we are apparently right over top of the Burnt River right now. Well, technically when we get onto this bridge, we are right over top of the Burnt River. This is a beautiful sight here. My goodness. Wow, what a view. So far, this is my favorite part of the trip so far. This is just gorgeous. I wonder what year this bridge is from. It does look pretty old from up top. It's definitely, some parts of it are sagging, probably from all the ATVs and Argos that ride on top of it here, but. I mean, this is pretty darn cool. If I just came to this bridge alone, the trip would have been worth it. But I just checked on my phone, we're just shy of 29 kilometers out from our destination, which is Furnace Falls. Just wanna get Get a quick peek at the bridge for you all and for myself. Of course, I've never been here before. Pretty darn cool. This old bridge here. I wonder where year this bridge is from. That I have no idea. But just behind us there is the Burnt River, folks. I'm gonna get a few more photos of the bridge itself. Yeah, 
Here's a quick look underneath of the bridge right here. That's about as far as I can get my camera extended here on that selfie stick. I don't think there's a whole lot to see under there anyway, if I'm being honest with you all. So there's another last and quick look at the Burton River, folks. Pretty darn impressive. I mean, look, on a day like this, look at those clouds, look at that sky. Look at the sun shining down on us. You could not have asked for a, more be a much better day than it is today. With the exception of a little bit of a breeze, a little bit of a wind. Um, could you have asked for a much better day, folks? Let's be honest here. There's two dirt bikers coming. Let me go get a shot of them here. There they come. A couple of uh, KTM dirt bikes. Maybe one four stroke and one two stroke. If I can hear right and if I can smell it right. But there is the Burnt River, folks. And we're just a shade under 30 kilo 29 kilometers, I'm sorry. I'm very excited right now. My mind is all over the place. It's racing right now. We're just shy of 29 kilometers out from Furnace Falls. So we're gonna get back on the bike and we're gonna putt along this trail. Wow, look at this. The scenery is just getting better and better and better. Oh my goodness. Have a look at this place, tucked aside from the Victoria Rail Trail. We just came from down there. We're heading that away. Look at this place. That is pretty unique. One lonely cabin, literally out in the middle of freaking nowhere. I guess for different folks, require different sort of lifestyles. I can totally respect that. That is pretty cool. Our guys on four wheelers. My goodness, there's a lot of them out here today. Wow. Now I can truly see why they've made these trails super, super wide. That's just to give room on either side for all these four-wheelers and Argos to stay on one side and be able to pass us safely on our bikes. So that's a good thing. That's why these trails are made so wide, I think. Giving us plenty of room to pass safely on either side is a good thing. Safe, safety is always first. Always think safety first, folks. All right, well, we've made it safely to Burnt River right now. And here, by the picture here, you can tell these guys like their snowmobiling, they like their horseback riding, they like their cycling, hiking, and of course, they love their ATVing. I can attest to that because I have seen so many four-wheelers today. Here comes another group of them. We're going to put this GoPro away and we're going to continue the ride. More four-wheelers and another Argo. Yeah. 
people around here definitely like their toys. Burnt River. Jeez, I cannot believe how many there are on the trail. Woo! Just absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. These types of places really can just take your breath away. Wow. I get this guy off the bloody trail. Mr. Turtle here. His ATV's coming. Mr. Turtle. Off you go, buddy. There you go. There he goes. Just in the nick of time, we got some more Argos coming by. All right, so we're still currently on the rail trail, the Victoria Rail Trail. Just had a quick peek on my phone. We are less than 15 kilometers from our destination. Good thing because I am starving. I didn't eat since five o'clock this morning. I think it's close to three or after three now, so. Can't wait till we get there and have a lovely little cozy picnic. Trail crossing up ahead. All right. Private driveway. Or private road, I should say. The sign says. This trail is really, really beautiful, man. Wow. So these very cool and unique rock formations caught my eye just as we were passing them. I immediately had to slam my brakes and get off the bike just to have a closer and further inspection. Quite cool. These things are pretty, pretty darn big. Just as a size comparison there. Wow. So let me tell you exactly how much further out we are from our destination. All right, so we are currently 12 kilometers out. 
We will be there very, very soon, folks. That is beautiful. According to that sign right in front of us, we are officially in the township, I guess, of Kinmount. Kinmount, Ontario. We still gotta go that way for, we got another 10K till we reach our destination, not too far now. All right, so we are officially in Kinmount. So we have made it to Kinmount right now, and it looks absolutely beautiful here. Oh my goodness. Have a look at this place. I think we gotta cross those falls up ahead there. I think it's a part of the route that we have to take. So we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time here as beautiful as it is. I mean, oh my goodness. We got another place we gotta be, folks. So there it is, that is Kinmount. Let's get back on the bike and we're less than 10 kilometers away, I think. So quick little walk around here at Kinmount. What a beautiful little spot. Wow, look at this place. We're gonna continue in just a second here. My goodness, what a day too, folks. What a bloody day. So this is called the Austin Sawmill. Wow. This is unique stuff I had never seen before. Wow, eh? Check this guy out. Wow. museum, I guess. This place is just gorgeous. This might even be better than the destination what we have planned for today, but I can only spend so much time here. Here's a closer look at the falls here. Pretty nice. So yes, we are currently in Kinmount. I believe this is the visitor center. Wow, this is just something else, folks. Check this thing out. Mount on a glorious, hot, and sunny, beautiful day. Kim Mount Rail Station, Township of Somerville, 1876.
chicken mount. My goodness, this is really, really neat. Wow. All this old equipment too that they're uh, they're preserving. Wow, this is real cool. Gorgeous. I don't know what else to say. I am surprised. More old equipment here. This is the Kinmount Heritage Model Railroad and Museum. Wow. All right, well, you know what? We got somewhere else we gotta be, unfortunately, as beautiful as this place is. I enjoyed my stay here. We gotta hit the road. Sign back there says Kinmount.
Oh man, I remember seeing these beautiful stones here when we were riding through Northern Ontario. Man, this brings back some memories, folks. Wow. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not too thrilled about riding on this highway here. These guys are doing well over 100, so. I hope the seven kilometers comes and goes real, real fast. My goodness, is this surely is beautiful. Woo! Lots of cars on the street here. It's a highway. Almost everyone's towing a trailer. Every second or third person towing the trailers. Trent Lakes Municipality. Wow, this is beautiful. I can just picture a black bear just hopping out of the woods, getting onto the road. This is definitely black bear territory, folks. 100%, I gotta really keep my eyes peeled out here. Oh yeah. Welcome to Halliburton County. All right, let's continue. We're now entering the township of Minden Hills, population of 6,000. Ah, uh, this is definitely a change of scenery, folks. Oh my goodness. Halliburton County, folks. Halliburton County. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so hungry. Super thirsty. Can't wait till we reach the falls. Almost there. We're gonna have a beautiful old lunch when we do get there. It looks like Mark Twain has a road named after him. Here in the county of Halliburton.
All right, so we are currently on White Boundary Road right now. We're less than two and a half kilometers from our destination. This actually looks a lot like a logging road. road. Two, kilometers. two kilometers, all right. This almost looks like it's a uh, old logging road here. Oh, look, does it ever look majestic, folks? Wow. I see somebody's driveway is right here. So there are homes, I guess, along this road here. Ho, 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 ho. Am I ever hungry, folks? I really don't know if you can get any more remote than this. I mean, this is truly remote. Wow, it's a couple of minutes away now. A little bit bumpy back there. Oh boy, she bumped it. Quite nice, if I must say. All right, well, after a 6K detour, I took a wrong turn. We're now one kilometer from our destination. I see the falls. You. Well, oh my goodness, we made it to Furnace Falls, folks. Wow. It's a bridge we just came across going that way. My goodness, what a day.
That was well worth the 150 plus kilometers just getting here. We're gonna have lunch in just a minute. That is quite the sight. Wow, what a beautiful place. Fortunately, there's two other people here fishing, so I'm not here by myself alone, unfortunately. Let's get some photos. I think we're gonna have our lunch right over there. Oh my goodness, I haven't ate since like five o'clock this morning. I'm starving. That is quite the current going downstream. That's quite the current. I need to get some food into me now. Wow, the water is surprisingly warm. Wow. That is very, very warm. For temperatures like today, that is very, very warm water. My goodness. Wow. Do not have asked for a better day, folks. Just perfect.
Well, unfortunately, this place does not have a picnic table, so I'm going to have to settle with eating right here, just like this, in front of the camera. I think first we're going to get her started off with some Cheetos. Woohoo, am I a hungry guy? All right. We got a nice two ice cold beverages in there calling our name. These are the spicy Cheetos. Mmm. Man, am I hungry. Woo! Mmm. With the exception of the beautiful falls itself, there's really, excuse me, there's really not a whole lot to this place. It almost looks like a park, but there's no picnic tables. It's, it's not like a rest area. It's just a little pull out at the side of the at the side of the highway there. Falls are beautiful, but other than that, not a whole lot to see here. Kin Mount was by far the most beautiful place so far today in Kin Mount. That place was just breathtaking. But, as they always say, it's a journey, not the destination. All right. This guy is ice cold saying Christopher crack me open and sip away I'm going to do just that monster energy ultra watermelon oh you like that sound got a little jet fuel straw whoa that is delicious we got a second one of those. Same flavor in our backpack. Maybe we'll save that for um, when we reach pick seed or something like that. We'll see. Mm-hmm. These are good. Real good. We'll finish them. Mm. I'm so bloody hungry right now. Woo! Wow. Mm -hmm. Cheers! Uh, we've also got five brand new Cliff Bars. We haven't even touched one of them yet. I came prepared today. I knew it was going to be a very long ride. A big ride. So I made sure to pack lots of stuff. Bloody mosquitoes everywhere. Mosquitoes. It's too bad this wasn't like a decent rest area with um, picnic tables, benches, anything. There's not a whole lot out here in Halliburton. Lots of nature and wildlife. It does have that.
Cliff Bar flavor chocolate almond fudge. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. White macadamia. All right, folks, so I think we're going to end the video right here, right now. Um, we've basically seen everything which um, Furnace Falls has to offer. It's not really much of a town. It's more of a very nice, beautiful little waterfall here. There's a lot of off streets here and there, but maybe people live around here. I don't know. I'm not going to be here long enough anyways to find out. Behind us, there is the beautiful town of Kinmount. If you're making the trip up here, I would highly, highly suggest you check out Kin Mountain. It's a beautiful, small, small town, Ontario. Furnace Falls, unless you just want to see the falls, there's nothing really else, much else to see here other than the falls. So before I come, I get home just covered with mosquito bites, before I get eaten alive out here, folks, Please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss a beat when I upload a new video or a new adventure like today. It's going to be a 200 plus mile day. That's over 300 kilometers. I really hope you enjoyed this video if you made it here to the end of the video. I know my videos are very long but I like to document every single little detail when I'm on these trips. I make it worth my while. 
sometimes I feel like I can't even put the camera down rather it be video or photos sometimes I just feel like I cannot put the camera down so much to see out here in beautiful Ontario however Furnace Falls you know other than the falls itself there's not much to see out here it was a beautiful adventure though it's the journey not the destination remember that so yeah before I get absolutely bombarded with mosquitoes here folks until the next adventure catch you later Let's hope this works